me what I bought, nobody cares. It comes with a 15% off thing in French that I can't read because I don't speak French. Why are there, there's stickers on every single one of these. Why do we think, chapters, that this is a good idea? It's not, but if you're wondering, everything is $6, there you go. So I'm gonna turn the camera off so I can pick up all these damn stickers. Hey guys, it's Jay, and today I am here with a little haul video for you all. I got a total of five books from Chapters Indigo! Yay! So I thought I would show you what I picked up. So without further ado, let us get started! Honestly, I don't even really remember what I bought because your girl just spends her money and there was a deal where it was like buy five teen books for $25 and also get $10 worth of free books. So I was like, heck yes, I shall do that! The first book that I picked up, I have heard so many things about from so many booktubers saying how incredible this book is. So, it is Wolf by Wolf by Ryan Grodin. I'm probably saying that wrong. But, but this book follows a girl named Yale and she is entering a motorcycle race in order for the grand prize to be a meeting with Hitler and she wants to kill Hitler and that's all I really know about it but everybody says how amazing it is so I had to find a copy of it and it was on the website for the five dollars and like these are all hardcover books so like why would I not take that deal the second book I am super duper duper excited about because I just read the first book in the series and this is like the sequel and the third book is coming out soon I believe but it is Lair of Dreams by Libba Bray, and this is the second book in the Diviners trilogy. I guess it's a trilogy now, but I absolutely loved the Diviners. I have a full review of it if you want to check that out. I recently read it, and I just fell in love with it. So when I saw this on the listing, I was like, your girl needs it, and that's honestly why I decided to actually do the full deal because I didn't really want any of the other books. But I was like, you know, five hardcover books for $25 and one of them is Lair of Dreams. Might as well take the deal. The next book I picked up is The Museum of Heartbreak by Meg Letter. And I actually don't know that much about this book other than it's like a cute contemporary book. And a lot of people have read it and thought that it was cute. So I was like, you know, I'm gonna get it. And also I think the cover is cute. But I know that it's about this girl who made like a museum of heartbreak and it's like how she gets over her heartbreaks throughout her life or something like that. Honestly, I'm probably very wrong, but her name is Penelope and that's my aunt's name, so I'm gonna read this book just for that fact. The next book I picked up is called Hungry by H.A. Swain and this is about a society in the future where hunger is not a thing. So there's a medication in which people take to not feel hunger, but the main character, Talia, her parents are the ones who created this medication, but she meets a boy who is actually starting a revolution in order to bring real food back, and that is when they begin to actually feel hunger, so they don't know if the medication is running off or if something is not working. But Talia decides that she's going to be part of this revolution. So I'm kind of intrigued. I totally thought when I bought this book, because I didn't read the summary, I thought it was like an eating disorder thing. It's not, but it still sounds really interesting. So I'm intrigued and I'm going to read this and it's going to be a good old time. And the final book that I picked up is The Girl Who Fell by S.M. Parker. Don't know that much about this book. I had it on my most anticipated reads like a long time ago when it first came out. And I just heard that it was interesting and a lot of booktubers read it and they seemed to really like it so I was like your girl needs it it was the final book that I picked out of the listing so I was like we're going with it because I've seen it and I actually know that it's been on booktube all the other books I was kind of like never heard of it don't know what it's about don't really want to spend money on it but this one I heard of so that's why we got it all I know is that it's about a girl who falls for a boy and becomes obsessed with him and things go on from there so who really knows? I guess I will find out more when I actually read the book. Alright guys, so that was my little haul. Let me know down below if you've read any of these books and what you thought of them. And I will see you all in my next video. Goodbye!